भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर ये नष्ट सभद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती ऋतम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवतीर्नैष्टी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो टेन चैप्टर सिक्सटी नाइन टेक्स्ट थर्टी वन ऑन वर्ड्स सो आई विल बी रीडिंग सेवरल वर्सेस देर इज लेस आर नो पर्पस सो वी विल बी चैंटिंग द वर्स नंबर फोर्टी सो वील रीड आई विल रीड माई सेल्फ तटि वन आनवर्स कूंत विग्रह कई सन्धि चांद्यकेशव कहरामेण चिंत सता शिव ट्रांसलेशन इन वन प्लेस ई वॉज प्लैनिंग बैटल्स इन कंसलटेशन वित् सम ऑफ हिस अडवाइजर्स एंड इन अनदर प्लेस ई वॉज मेकिंग पीस somewhere lord keshava and lord balaram were together pondering the welfare of the pious these are various activities that lord krishna was performing in dwaraka which was witnessed by narada muni <coughs> 32putranam dahitrinam cha kale vidhi upa upayapanam धारैर्वरैस्तत्सदृश कल्पय विभूति नारद सा लॉर्ड कृष्ण एंगेज इन गेटिंग हिस् सन्स एंड डॉटर्स मैरिड टू सूटबल ब्राइड्स एंड ब्राइड ग्रूम्स एट द अप्रोप्रिएट टाइम एंड द मैरेज सेरेमनी वेर बीइंग पर्फॉम वित् ग्रेट पंप पपुट दिस ट्रांसलेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन शील प्रोपास कृष्ण द वर्ड काले here means that krishna arranged for his sons and daughters to be married when each of them reached the proper age prastapano panayanaira patyana mahotsavan viksha yogeshvare shashya yasham loka vishish vishishmire narada observed how sri krishna the master of all yoga masters arranged to send away his daughters and son in law and also to receive them home again at the time of great holiday celebrations all the citizens were astonished to see these celebrations yajantam sakalan devan kwape krutubir urjite urjitai purtayantam kwachit dharmam kurparam amata dibihi somewhere he was worshiping all the demigods with elaborate sacrifices and elsewhere he was fulfilling his religious obligations by doing public welfare work such as the construction of wells public parks and monasteries charantam mrgayam kwapi hayan naruya saindavam त्र पशुन्मेद्यादुपुंगवै इन अनदर प्लेस हि वॉज ऑन ए हंटिंग एक्सपेडिशन मौंटेड ऑन इज सिंधी हॉर्स एंड अकाउंपनेड बै द मोस्ट हिराइक ऑफ द यदूस हि वॉज किलिंग एनिमल्स मेन्ट फॉर ऑफरिंग इन सैक्रिफाइस पपट शील प्रभुपाद कमेंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू वैदिक रेगुलेशन द क्षत्रियाज वेर अलउड टू किल prescribed animals on certain occasions either to maintain peace in the forest or to offer the animals in the sacrificial fire kshatriyas are allowed to practice this killing art because they have to kill their enemies mercilessly to maintain peace in the society 
అవ్యక్తలింగం ప్రకృతి శంతపుర గృహాదిషు క్వచిచరణం యోగేశం తత్తద్భావభూత్సయా సంవేర్ కృష్ణ ద లార్డ్ ఆఫ్ మిస్టిక్ పవర్ వాస్ మూవింగ్ అబౌట్ ఇన్ డిస్ గైస్ అమాంగ్ ద హోమ్స్ ఆఫ్ మినిస్టర్స్ అండ్ అదర్ సిటిజన్స్ ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ ఈచ్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ వాస్ థింకింగ్ పపట్ ఆల్దో లార్డ్ కృష్ణ వాస్ ఆల్ నోయింగ్ while executing his past times as a typical monarch he sometimes traveled about incognito to acquire necessary information about his kingdom ato vacha rishikesham narada prahu prahasan viva yoga mayodayan viksha manushim yushogatim having thus seen his display of the lord's yoga maya narada mildly laughed and then addressed lord rishikesha who was adapting the behavior of a human being according to shri vishnu chakravarti thakur narada fully understood the lord's omniscience and thus when he saw the lord trying to find out the mood of his ministers moving about in disguise narada could not help laughing but remembering the lord's supreme position he somewhat constrained his laughter విదామయోగ మాయాస్తే దుర్దర్శ అపి మాయినాం యోగేశ్వరాత్మన్నిర్భాత భవత్పాద నివేశ నిషేవయ నారద సెడ్ నౌ వీ అండర్స్టాండ్ యువర్ మిస్టిక్ పొటెన్సీస్ విచ్ ఆర్ డిఫికల్ టు కాంప్రిహెండ్ ఈవెన్ ఫర్ గ్రేట్ మిస్టిక్స్ ఓ సుప్రీం సోల్ మాస్టర్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ మిస్టిక్ పవర్ ఓన్లీ బై సర్వింగ్ యువర్ లోటస్ ఫీట్ హ్యావ్ ఐ బీన్ ఏబుల్ టు పర్సీవ్ యువర్ పవర్స్ according to the acharyas this verse indicates that even great mystics like lord brahma and lord shiva cannot fully comprehend the mystic powers of the supreme lord anujani hi mam deva lokam te yasa yasa sa plutan paryatamita vogyayan leela bhuvana pavanahi oh lord please give me your leave i will wander about the worlds which are flooded with your fame loudly singing about your past times which purify the universe even narada muni was bewildered to see lord krishna's amazing past times as a human being therefore with the words anu jani hi mam deva he requests permission to return to his normal service of traveling and preaching inspired by what he has seen he wants to preach wildly the glories of the supreme personality of godhead shri krishna verse number 40 so we'll recite this together shri bhagavan uvacha brahman dharmasya vakta aham karta tat అనుమోదిత తిక్షయన్ లోకం ఇమం ఆస్తి పుత్ర మాకిడ శ్రీభగవాన్ ఉవాచ బ్రహ్మందన్యస్ వక్తాహం కర్త తదనుమోదిత తిక్షయన్ లోకం ఇమం ఆస్తి పుత్ర మాకిడ బ్రహ్మందన్యస్ వక్తాహం కర్త తదనుమోదిత తిక్షయన్ లోకం ఇమం ఆస్తి పుత్ర మాకిడ బ్రహ్మందన్యస్ వక్తాహం కర్త తదనుమోదిత తిక్షయన్ లోకం ఇమం ఆస్తి పుత్ర మాకిడ బ్రహ్మందన్యస్ వక్తాహం కర్త తదనుమోదిత తిక్షయన్ లోకం ఇమం ఆస్తి పుత్ర మాకిడ
तत्शिक्षयन लोकम यमम आस्तित पुत्र माकिड Shri Bhagavan Vacha Mataji's Bhagavan Vacha what word meaning? Sri Bhagavan Vacha. The Supreme Lord said, Brahman. O Brahmana, Dharmasya of the religion, Vakta, the speaker, Aham, I, Karta, the executor, Tat, of it, Anumodita, the sanctioner, Tat, it, Sikshayan, teaching, Lokam, to the world, Imam in this Astitaha situated Putra O son Makidaha do not be disturbed. Translation and purport. Translation The Supreme Personality of Godhead said, O Brahmana, I am the speaker of religion, its performer and sanctioner. I observe religious principles to teach them to the world, my child, so do not be disturbed. Please repeat responsibly. The Supreme Personality of God had said, O Brahmana, I am the speaker of religion, its performer and sanctioner. I observe religious principles. To teach them to the world, my child, so do not be disturbed. Purport Srila Jiva Goswami explains that Lord Krishna wanted to dispel Narada's distress, which the sage felt because he saw Lord Krishna worshipping demigods and even Narada himself. Srila Vishnu Chakravati Thakur explains Lord Krishna's feelings as follows. Quote, As I state in the Bhagavad Gita, yadyad acharati shreshta tadda teve taro janaha Whatever a great person does, ordinary people follow. Thus, I bathed your feet today in order to help propagate the principles of religion. In the past, before I began my pastimes of directly teaching the religious principles, you came and offered prayers to me after I had killed the Kesi demon. But I simply listened to your elaborate prayers and glorifications and did nothing to honor you. Just remember this and consider. Do not think that you have committed an offense by allowing me to bathe your feet today and accept the water as holy remnants. Just as a son does not offend his father, by touching him with his 
foot while sitting on the father's lap. So you should understand that in the same way, my son, you have not offended me. <clears throat> ओम ज्ञानतिमरांदशनाजनसलाकया सक्षुन्मील येन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम मूक कौति वाचा पंगुम लंगाते गिरी यमह वंदे श्रीगुर दीनतारिण परमानंदमाधव श्रीकृष्णचैतन्यदेव वाचाकलतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्यव पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो ओम विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रस्थाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नामस्ते सारस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पास्तच्छ देश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवासादि गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे इन दिस सेक्शन ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम देर इज अ डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट हाउ लॉर्ड कृष्णा वॉज परफॉर्मिंग इज हाउस वोल्ड ड्यूटीज गृहधर्म गृहधर्म so narada muni wanted to see how lord krishna is performing his past times in dwaraka with 16108 palaces and queens and a very huge family so what's happening there so narada muni wanted to observe and uh, we see that narada muni when he goes to dwaraka first he actually visits uh, the palace of rukmini the principal queen and uh, we have seen how krishna welcomed him so narada muni is playing the role of a brahmana and uh, krishna is playing the role of a kshatriya so the <clears throat> dharma of the varna is that a kshatriya always welcomes worships the brahmana exactly like sudama vipra sudam also went from porbandar all the way to dwaraka in fact sudama was so poor and he was looking uh, not so you know acceptable in a royal assembly but krishna made him to sit on the the bed of rukmini and worshiped him by washing his lotus feet and rukmini was fanning Hmm. So in the same way, exactly we can see here, Narada Muni was made to sit on the bed of Rukmini and wash his lotus feet. And Narada Muni was saying, "Hey, you are my lord. <laughs> wait a, wait a. You have taken the role of Brahman. I am taking the role of Kshatriya. So once you have taken the role, you have to perform it properly. Exactly like a drama. If you take in the drama, sometimes." it may happen that suppose a big corporate office is arranging a drama in that drama if the manager takes the role of a peon and the peon takes the role of a boss king suppose king in the thing once you are in the drama the manager should be performing the role of a peon properly actually shri shri radha ras vihari ji ki श्री श्री सीताराम लक्ष्मण हनुमान की श्री श्री गौरताय की शील प्रभुपाद की देर यू कैनॉट ड्रा नो डिमांड एनी रेस्पेक्ट यू आर इन द ड्रामा एंड यू आर टू प्ले योर रोल सो कृष्ण वॉज प्लेइंग द रोल अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्षत्रिय धर्म सो यू वेलकम यू वॉच दिस लोटस फीट तुक द वाटर ऑन इज हेड सो इन दिस वे वी सी देन Narada Muni goes to different places where he sees somewhere he is playing dice with the queen and somewhere he is coddling the infant children and somewhere he is planning to take all simultaneously different different play palaces different different things are happening fire sacrifice and charity to brahmana somewhere chanting the mantras meditation so 
uh, in this section that today we are discussing we see uh, in one palace krishna is uh, planning to preparing for the battle with the advice of the advisers he is taking advice leadership leader can decide on his own but then he takes the generally the kings they have the whole uh, council of ministers because king's words are final he says that this has to be done done that's all nobody can there is no appeal court only to god you can appeal actually there is no appeal court so the decision has to be taken appropriately without any mistake so he takes advice of the council member what do you think what should we do everybody decision has to be taken by the king but advice can be given by so many no no at this quoting the shastra this should be done somebody no no this should be done then balance your mind and make a balance of everything and take a decision so here krishna can just plan his battle you know he is taking advice of his ministers what to do what not to do and somewhere he is seen making peace not to fight hmm? fight is actually the last option you, first thing you don't uh, declare you no know, warfare first thing you try to make peace like in mahabharat mahabharat did not happen just like that there was krishna personally krishna tried to um, no harbor peace he went all the way he met duryodhana said that are bhai why don't you do the peace shanti dut first peace and peace is not working then dan thoda zyada ko de do dave zyada le lo na aadha se zyada bhi le lo aadha dena hai aadha se zyada bhi le lo five province five village <laughs> nothing <laughs> then beda danda last is danda warfare the chalo if nothing is working let us decide by war so here we see that in one palace krishna is trying to broker peace to avoid the war when it is not to be avoided planning for the war also big plan <clears throat> so somewhere they krishna and balaram together they were seen uh, pondering the welfare of the pious pious brahmanas those who follow the varnashrama dharma for their welfare doing different things namo brahmanya devaya go brahmana idaya cha so pro no the lord krishna is protector of the religion protector of the dharma protector of brahmanas cow pious activities so krishna and balaram they both are uh, planning in one of the palaces <clears throat> in one palace krishna is seen getting his sons and daughters married at appropriate time duty of the father is to get the son and daughters married as well as the daughters son if he says i want to become brahmachari jane do chhod sakte wo devarnas zabardast nahi karna but daughters getting married at appropriate time there are several kinds of marriages brahma viva brahma marriage is that arranged marriage father and no mother look for a appropriate suitable match appropriate time auspicious time get the brahmanas relatives arrange the vivaha sanskara get them married brahma vivaha there are eight kinds of marriages mentioned in the scripture gandharva vivaha ashurika vivaha we don't have to get into all those details <clears throat> so appropriate time is uh, you know when uh, you know the children they attain certain age appropriate time marriage is done in propat gives his own example in his family his father gorma one day he got three daughters and when one second daughter was 12 years old 12 years old propat's mother said if you don't get her married immediately you know i will jump to ganga <laughs> 12 years only <laughs> generally the vivaha is done before the puberty and then the girl knows who is the husband the boy knows who is the wife so they don't look for options different different options so so in this way krishna was seen making the marriage of his sons and daughters at appropriate time and then sending them off girls giving the dowry not though it is prohibited now we are talking about krishna's time 
and then receiving them back on vacation when vacation is there they come back also you know receiving them back so krishna was doing this and the residents themselves were astonished oh krishna is doing all these things also <clears throat> so in one palace uh, krishna was seen worshiping the demigods <laughs> by sacrifices very interesting and that was more bewildering to narada muni what is happening here so uh, you have to know that krishna is performing the role of a grahastha kshatriya so for a grahastha kshatriya what is suitable he was performing because uh, every living entity has obligation as stated in bhagavatam దేవరిషి భూతాప్త నృణాం పితృణాం నకంకరోయం నాయం వృణిచరాజన్ సర్వాత్మనాయ శరణం శరణ్యం గతో ముకుంద పరిహృత్యకత్ దేవతాస్ ఆబ్లిగేషన్ ఈజ్ దేర్ అండ్ రిషీస్ సెయింట్లీ పర్సన్స్ ఆర్డినరీ లివింగ్ బీయింగ్స్ రిలేటివ్స్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఆబ్లికేషన్ ఫర్ రిలేటివ్ ఆబ్లికేషన్ ఫర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఆబ్లికేషన్ ఫర్ ద మ్యాన్ కైండ్ ఆబ్లికేషన్ ఫర్ ద ఫోర్ ఫాదర్స్ all these obligation exist within varnashrama system when one is within the varnashrama system these obligations exist they cannot be dumped saying that you know i don't care then he is failing in his duty failing in his duty but these obligations can be only overruled only overruled if one takes the ayar dharma higher dharma of worshiping the supreme personality of god at 100% surrender worshiping is on the full surrender fully surrender post when somebody is fully surrendered he is doing the natural duty at the level of the soul for him all these obligation don't exist so here it is krishna <laughs> is krishna and because he is performing the role of a grahastha kshatriya so graha dharma is doing worshiping the demigod very interestingly very interestingly it is krishna who actually in braj stop the yagna for lord indra everyone remembers <laughs> krishna is a small boy uh, uh, nanda maharaj all the you know the residents of braj they were preparing for a yagna and uh, krishna is asking what are you doing oh we are going to do yagna for indra and indra has given the rain so with rain we did all the nice agriculture nice harvest so it is our duty to actually offer something to indra who has given the rain and there if you see krishna actually preaches what is known as karma mimamsa oh everything happens by karma the rain clouds are coming and pouring you know what indra has to do <laughs> so so much so that uh, he didn't even say that okay let us do the yagna for nanda maharaj said let us do this after that we will do yagna for Go- govardhan krishna wanted the govardhan puja we will worship govardhan govardhan is giving everything he is giving rain you know water is coming waterfalls are there our cows are going and grazing everything is there no 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 not in place no not after this in place of this do it indra has to get angry he has to send rain and you no know, the entire uh, bridge was flooded and krishna has to then lift his, the govardhan hill so here uh, you can see in braj krishna actually stopped the demigod worship whereas in uh, dwaraka he himself was performing it as narada muni is kya ho <laughs> what is happening so these are the different roles that uh, krishna is playing krishna in braj he is leela purushottam hmm. he actually wanted to you know destroy the pride of indra he is in vrindavan he is performing his past time he has to subdue the pride of 
Indra who thought that he the supreme and then he wanted to start govardhan puja <laughs> he has to bring the scene to do the scene no you have to bring the arrange the scenes in such a way that what do you want happens and he wanted to lift govardhan so you have to arrange the earlier scenes to culminate in you no know, govardhan puja and lifting the you no know, past time of lifting the govardhan hill hmm. so to achieve that krishna has to do that there he is not bound by graha dharma <laughs> he is not bound by dharma he is just playing and the role of the leela purushottam supreme personality of god so uh, <clears throat> whereas in uh, dwaraka he can't do that then everybody will say krishna he did like that he, uh, he is uh, showing the example for others so he is you no know, playing the role of a kshatriya spelling the role of the prince ruler of dwarka dwarka dish and there if you see he is performing all the you no know, no prescriptions of how yeah grahastha a kshatriya should be performing the role so for that matter to teach the general people you don't have to follow what our krishna does in vrindavan there he is doing his leela you can't copy the leela so if you want to copy krishna what he does do what he does in dwaraka there that is what yadya the acharyati shreshta there he is acting on behalf of others as a shreshta so you have to follow him what krishna does in dwaraka that is okay we don't have to copy what krishna does in vrindavan hmm? so in uh, vrindavan he is performing his leela as the leela purushottam whereas in dwaraka krishna is exhibiting the maryada aspect of purushottam rules and regulations following when he is welcoming you know he, he, he could have said to sudama when he came hey, you are my friend only you know, what's the big deal but then no no you are brahmana i am kshatriya rules yes i will follow the rule even if he had just embraced him and did everything nobody would have complained are a childhood friend hai kya karna hai no brahmana has come so i let to do respect for the brahmana so in this way lord krishna was performing the maryada aspect of is purushottam nature maryada purushottam and in one place it is stated that he was doing the religious obligation by doing public welfare construction of wells parks and monasteries this is the duty of the king eh? so much so that there is a slogan by so called social worker manava seva is madava seva impersonalist have this idea if you want to save you want to serve madava serve manava if you serve jana seva is janardan seva <laughs> you can make any sloga you want <laughs> that is not the problem <laughs> but it all depends upon what you do so here uh, we see manava seva by madava madava is krishna krishna himself is uh, fulfilling his obligation of public this is an obligation a king has got obligation the king actually receives uh, the tax from the citizen then it is the responsibility for the king to provide the public welfare uh, you no know, facilities park well construction of several things this is something like csr corporate social responsibility money is received they say that money corporations are making money and then he gives some portion of it to the society by social you are responsibility to the society corporate social responsibility so much so that the kings actually used to do all the welfare activities something like temple building a temple who funds the building the temple you see so many temples big big temples in you know south india you go huge huge temples so much money it will take who gave the money actually the kings used to give the money grant chalo banao ye mandir banana hai and these temples are like 
you know they can uh, stay there for uh, thousands of years made of granite solid granite no concrete no steel nothing huge big big concrete you know the um, granite block in the, no, no seismic no no earthquake nothing anything can happen nothing will happen to the temples you can see all those huge temples how much money it will take the kings used to give the grant is one of the welfare activity the centers for spiritual education and practice that is also social welfare you know social welfare doesn't mean only for the body for the soul also you know some facility should be there for the welfare of the soul that's a temples temples are the centers of spiritual education knowledge and practice big big temples mm. uh <clears throat> in this connection there is uh, one story of one alwar in south india thirumangai alwar he was actually a kshatriya and uh, chola was the in tamil you no know, in the south you no know, chera chola pandya they used to rule different points of time chola was ruling at the time so he, the emperor is chola and under him his father was serving as a commander so he also was serving chola king he was very powerful big fighter so he actually uh, wanted to marry one kumudavalli and he went and gave the proposal she said that you have to become initiated i will marry only initiated devotee acha ladki <laughs> if you are not initiated i am not willing to marry not only that you should then second condition he said theek hai initiation le lega second condition you should feed 1000 people every day <laughs> food for life so if you do that then i will marry he said theek hai bhai shaadi kar li then he was feeding and he is a small king he is not a emperor no he is he is ruling only a small portion of the land and uh, the the rule is that a small king is supposed to give tax to the emperor you have to pay the tax ah. so he was spending money all the money not only his portion is exhausted he was not able to pay the tax because he is feeding already thousand people <laughs> so at some point of them the king sent a message hey what happened tax is not coming by kya hua wala tax aayi nahi kya hua nahi i was feeding this whether you are feeding or not how does it matter to me you are supposed to pay me tax and your money you can feed you don't i didn't give you permission to feed my money you pay you no know, feed jail me dal diya he said are bhai i am doing good work only what to do <clears throat> then he was in the jail so he was praying to the lord and uh, lakshmi ji came in the dream and said that do one thing you you whatever due is there you tell your king that you come to kanchipuram देर आपको सेटल कर देगा सो लक्ष्मी इज टेलिंग देन यू टोल्ड द गॉड्स अरे भाई देगा कहाँ है मेरे साथ जाओ कांचीपुरम जाए अच्छा ठीक है सो ही केम ऑल द वे फ्रॉम कांचीपुरम एंड इज द लॉर्ड लक्ष्मी सेट दैट देर इज अ ट्रेशर द ट्रेशर यू कैन यूज इट टू गिव इट टू यूर किंग नो प्रॉब वेर इज द ट्रेशर यू डिंट टेल सो ही केम टू कांचीपुरम ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ वैगवती रिवर रिवर बेड में बैठ गया किधर है ट्रेशर ढूंढ रहा गॉड्स आर टेलिंग है व्हाट हैपन वेयर इज द मनी अरे वेट यार इधर तक तो आया है ना कल सुबह दे रात को यू वाज प्रेइंग टू द वरदराज अरे भाई इतना दूर बुलाया वेयर इज द ट्रेशर वरदराज सेड दैट जस्ट यू गो एंड डिग ऑन द बैंक दिस प्लेस पर्टिकुलर स्पॉट सो यू विल फाइंड द ट्रेशर So early morning, got up, went to the guard. Hey, boy, dig here. So dig. Treasure, gold, no jewels and diamond, whatever. Say, lel, sab kumar hai. Then the guard said, "Thik hai, boy. This is okay, but what about the portion of grains, rice? Rice is supposed to be given because what happens? Uh, the." Uh, the farmers they give tax in the form of rice and certain portion of rice is supposed to go also rice kidhar hai kya karega abhi rice kidhar hai 
they are on the bank of uh, vegavati river vegavati is flowing he took the actually uh, the sand the bank sand is a pakad kar ke chala vai le lo from his hand when it is falling into their thing it is becoming rice this is converting the you know sand into rice and he was kept on putting and it all becoming rice they were all surprised kya ho raha hai idhar then they said is it real rice or something else are real rice ho gaya ha ho gaya kitna chahiye utna le lo then these guards went back to the chola emperor said are bhai see these all these things and they explain he explained that you know these all things happen <clears throat> so uh, then the king said hey this person is not an ordinary person <laughs> he is he must be having some mystic power so we should not mistreat him chalo they are theek hai bhai tum ek kaam karo you do one thing you take this back and it, you, it looks like you know the god is very pleased with you you continue your thing you don't have to pay tax chalo <laughs> then he again started and then it became short fall also and he also took up the service of the building uh, temple of ranganath sri ranga it is said that the third there are seven pragharas seven seven walls the third pragara was made by trumangayalva he used all the money that also is exhausted then what he did because he is a very powerful warrior you know you know indian marriages you know indian marriages are very uh, fat marriages <laughs> lot of money is spent this is not something new even from those days marriage means everybody decorates especially the ladies put all the golden ornaments everything in the house lot of ornaments especially the the bride is also decorated so lot of wealth you can get so what he used to do he used to actually uh, rob the marriage parties so let them look at you you are all materialistic people <laughs> take this money i will build the you know ranganatha temple i also will feed i am engaged in pure devotional sari chalo nikalo so he was actually robbing all the wealthy people and uh, lakshmi and narayan were thinking kya kar rahe unko kanchi param tak leke ja ke sab kuch diya abhi chori karna shuru kar diya then uh, lakshmi said do something my dear lord ha theek hai bhai karta hai so one day one big marriage party very wealthy he was very happy ye bahut dekho bhai bahut so he blocked nikala sab sab gold you know all the jewels everything made in the pack big in the village you put a big you know kind of cloth and put everything and tie it you know so he tied everything he is a very strong man weight lifting he can even lift 100 kg like that and he was trying to lift actually uh, the all the jewelry he, he was not able to lift he was trying trying nothing lifting he said what is happening here he was addressing the bride and groom what is that you must have done some magic you are trying to deceive me by magic what is the magic you have done that i am not able to lift this i idhar aap bata tha so the groom asked him to come i will tell you only in your ears come come and uh, the lord uttered the holy names हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे यू डिड नॉट अटर हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र यू अटर्ड ओम नमो नारायणाय हियरिंग फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड हिमसेल्फ ही सेड दिस इज द मैजिक देयर दैट इज यू आर नॉट एबल टू लिफ्ट व्हेन तिरुमंगई हर्ड द होली नेम्स from the lord's mouth only he was completely transcendentally initiated he was spiritualized there is nothing more that he can do materially anything so much so that he left everything made he said theek hai bhai sab chhod do he became a great saint alva and he started traveling to different places and he wrote several uh, 
stanzas which are part of nalara tevya prabandham building the temple is actually one of the duties of the you know the governor government king because it gives an opportunity for food for life temple mein food for life bhi hoga prasadam bhi distributed and gives an opportunity for actually uh, spiritual advancement for the living entity so here we can see lord krishna himself was doing similar kind of uh, so called quote and quote social activities for the welfare of the citizen <clears throat> and uh, in another place he was seen on hunting expedition the king actually can go to the forest and hunt hunting is allowed because in the warfare you have to kill people you know if you have no experience of killing a living entity it will be very difficult for you to shoot it is not that you know it is for example if a surgeon surgeon he has to cut you know if he has never cut anything in the laboratory during his studies if if you take the elective biology in the laboratory you will have to cut different living entities right and then when you come to medicine you have to the, the your teacher will cut and you will have to watch and then you cut so it it develops as a experience over a period of time so that when you are alone you can cut the person and to do the surgery so this cutting has to happen over a period of time it doesn't happen overnight so a king going to fight you know he has to have the experience of seeing how different uh, you know persons are killed and different living entities are killed so hunting is generally allowed not it is to actually give the mental strength and psychologically prepared for warfare to the kshatriya so it is allowed you can go to the forest and hunt and hunting for even bringing the body you no know, bringing the living entity for sacrifices allowed killing of the animal for a particular purposes for the sacrifices or for the you know kshatriya's experience it's allowed and here we can see that lord krishna was doing it personally <clears throat> and in another place narada muni saw krishna was in disguise he was not looking like a prince a king he was looking like a ordinary citizen and trying to go around and see what people are talking about ministers general public this is one of the thing the royal order proper mentions in several places the king not only should be very satisfied that everything is okay but he should also do a field visit of getting feedback without being sought from the citizen how to get it you just go like a normal man and you just listen what people say hmm? here krishna like a ordinary man he is thinking what ministers are talking piche kya bolta hai wo dekhna hai aage se sab bolega bahut acha hai prabhu you are the best king in the world you are there are people psychophants you know there are people to stuti you know then only you will be in the good books so that you can get benefits you know there is nobody better than you in the administration prabhu you are the best administrator piche badmas hai इसको कुछ आता नहीं है काली दिखावट करता है इवन दैट हैज टू बी हर्ड बाय द किंग सो दैट योर पॉजिटिव इनपुट कैन बी टेकन हियर यू कैन सी दैट कृष्णा वांटेड टू नो सो दैट इट कैन रेक्टिफाई इफ इट इज लेजिटिमेट एंड जेन्युन समटाइम्स देयर आर लेजिटिमेट थिंग्स बीइंग स्पोकन आल्सो इट इज नॉट ऑलवेज पॉलिटिक्स इट इज नॉट ऑलवेज यू नो इमेजिनेशन there may be something real which we may not be able to see somebody else may be able to see even ordinary citizen doesn't have to be high profile minister also ordinary citizen in fact if you see in ramayan where lord ram played the role of maryad purushottam how did he get that you know the sita's chastity being doubted is by an ordinary citizen actually 
there are different versions of ramayan by the way some versions say that you know bhadra he came and informed what are they talking about ram was asking what do the citizen talk about what do they talk about me what do they no no it's okay no no you tell what do they talk no they are talking sita was in the house of somebody else for so long how you accept her it could have been justified saying no no she is already purified agni has given the witness everything is over there is already a justification purification is thing is already done the test is already done justice is given but still it was being questioned so lord ramchandra as a maryad purushottam he was trying to set an example of the ideal administrator leader a leader has to set you no know, he should be beyond any doubt also beyond any doubt he said no this has to be done he has to send the sita to the forest saying that no i can't keep it with you because for the dharma of an administrator taking the higher role than his own dharma of protecting his wife graha dharma is to protect the wife whereas his dharma of the king as a ruler as the leader of the entire society that is the higher dharma so he has to do the activity of the higher dharma very difficult for your administrator unless somebody is completely equipoise completely neutral and sticking to the highest standard it is very difficult for your ordinary living being to do that so in this way here we can see uh, krishna is doing that he is going in disguise to find out what is the things being talked about so here um uh, by seeing this narada muni could see that how the yoga maya of krishna is working he because he was a devotee he could reconcile otherwise the ordinary person could have got bewildered are why kya ho gaya he is a devotee and he mildly laughed he smiled and said that you are adapting the behavior of a human, human being very ideally hmm. and uh, i could understand your mystic power narada muni said and it is by serving your lotus feet i could actually able to understand this and reconcile narada muni because such mystic potency of the lord even great personalities like uh, brahma and shiva cannot reconcile it is explained in chaitanya charitamrita how when brahma once went to visit krishna in dwaraka the gate keeper said wait i will get appointment for you who are you the gate keeper could not even recognize a brahma <laughs> tell brahma inside brahma which brahma the lord is asking which brahma which brahma i have four heads i am the brahma <laughs> so go and tell four headed brahma theek hai so the lord asked him kya hai nahi pehla mere ko puchna hai you asked which brahma you know so is there any brahma theek hai baitho idhar so the lord with this meditation he invited brahmas from different uh, brahmandas different universes and each one is having 10 heads 20 heads 100 heads 1000 10000 1 lakh 1 crore 10 crore heads counting itself will be a difficult thing right each one of the brahma was not able to see another brahma by the way each brahma was thinking the lord called and paid obeisances and kya hai theek hai jao and like there so many are happening and this chota brahma or that brahma could see all of them and he felt like he is like a rabbit in front of the herd of uh, elephants elephants go in a herd you know like a 10 20 elephant ja raha hai uska beech mein rabbit kaisa lagega and the shivas were coming one lakh head one crore head shiva indra is coming so many indra's body mein pura eyes hai uska story bahut alag hai so all of them could not see what is happening to each other only brahma this four headed brahma only could see he said that theek hai in conceal potency of the supreme lord so whereas narada could actually understand without being bewildered like brahma that supreme personality of god with his yoga maya could do all these things 
so narada muni wanted to take leave of krishna please uh, i have seen this now let me go and uh, chant your glories all over the universe so in this way the lord here mentioned that i am the speaker of the religion hmm <clears throat> dhanasya dharmasya vaktaham i i actually i only speak lord krishna speaks the no the re- principles of religion in the form of bhagavad gita impart the knowledge in the form of bhagavatam to brahma so i am the speaker i am the speaker of the vedas mm. and i am the performer i also perform i also do what i say you can't say something to somebody and you don't do it especially when the lord comes in the human form of life as lord ramachandra as lord krishna as lord chaitanya mahaprabhu when he comes in the form of a human being then what he has taught for the human beings to do he does it and he is the sanctioner that to happen he sanctions unless it is sanctioned by the supreme lord things cannot move so what is being said in the vedas to happen krishna is the sanctioner and lord krishna says i am just doing this to teach everybody in the world वेदैशर्वैरघमेव वेद्यो वेदांधकृत वेदवीत चाहम एंटर् पर्पस वेद ईज टू अंडर्स्टा कृष्ण ईज द कंपैलर आफ द वेद ऐम द कंपैलर अंड द पर्पस ईज टू अंडर्स्टा कृष्ण सो इन द सेम वे इयर लॉर्ड कृष्ण ईज टेलिंग दैट ई डोट गेट विबिलडेड ऐम डूइंग आल दीज थिंग्स बिकॉज the common man who is supposed to do the religious principles dharma he should know what he should be doing i am doing it if i myself is doing nobody can say that uh, why i should do are krishna himself is doing why i not do it hmm. so in this way we see here that lord krishna is a per is a teacher taking the role of a student it happened several times <laughs> ah in uh, ramayan lord ramachandra being a maryad purushottam he set the highest standard of you know following the principles highest standard maryad purushottam hmm. acted as an ideal son ideal husband ideal leader ideal brother everything that is ideal nothing more that can be done maryad purushottam lord krishna he played the role of leela purushottam and he has set the example of what the devotee should be doing <laughs> his dear devotees his intimate devotee they are not needed to be doing anything material so he there uh, denied the you know the yagna for indra and as exhi- you no know, demonstrating the quality of maryada in dwaraka same krishna exhibited all these household activities performed in the graha dharma and the swadharma swadharma as a kshatriya in bhagavad gita lord krishna keeps telling arjuna do your swadharma do your swadharma he is doing that swadharma in actually uh, dwaraka and chaitanya mahaprabhu as a teacher in the form of a student he gave us uh, how to perform the pure devotional service from sadhana all the way up to prema how to perform it and he is a prem purushottam giving the love of god he is also a teacher he also performed all the things he also chanted he is the supreme personality of god he chanted and made the people to chant so that people can practice krishna consciousness and achieve prema love of god so in this way we are reading here that how lord krishna performed these past times for teaching others and <clears throat> in the purport it is explained how sila jiva goswami explains how you know lord krishna performing the rituals for demigods is to set an example for uh, others to follow and also it is stated that krishna is indirectly telling narada muni that don't feel bad that i worshiped your lotus feet it is exactly like a small child you know carried by the father and the child sits on the lap of the father and the child's feet actually touches the father's lap father's different portion of the body also but the father does not feel offended so don't be like you are a small child for me so i am washing in fact the father does so many service for the child mother and father they clean the body clean the feet clean everything you know 
So there is no big deal. Father doing service to the child. So in this way, uh, in this section of Srimad Bhagavatam, we have seen how Lord Krishna is performing various activities of uh, his Graha Dharma as a teacher, taking the role of a student and teaching. A devotee who is not 100% surrendered to Krishna, not fully engaged in devotional service, all this Graha Dharma he has to do some portion or the other. <laughs> It is not that the first day you come to Krishna consciousness and started chanting, you are relieved from everything. Not really. Not really. And here, but if one advances, advances and it is fully surrendered to Krishna, fully engaged in service of Krishna, all this Graha Dharma don't really apply. Sarvatmanaya saranam saranyam gato mukunda parihritya kartum. If one has taken fully the shelter of the lotus feet of Lord Krishna, for him, these are not really necessary and this becomes like a redundant for him. So in this way, uh, when uh, Lord Krishna says, Sarva dharman paritya mamekam saranam vrajaya, give up all the dharma. He's talking about this graha dharma also, chakriya dharma, all the sodharma on the bodily platform life. Krishna says, leave it, don't have to worry about it. So in this way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Srila Prabhupada has taught us how we should be doing our swadharma. Swadharma of practicing Krishna consciousness, sadhana bhakti, following the footsteps of the Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharyas, chanting the holy names and dedicating one's life completely in service of Krishna so that he can get purified so much so that he can be led all the way up to the level of prema that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught us and then go back home, back to God. let we'll stop here. Any question or comment? Hare Krishna Praji, बहुत सुंदर क्लास दी है। ओ, हम देखते हैं कि भगवान कृष्णा जब कार्यक्रम में प्रकट हुए, तो देवराज इंद्र समेत हर देवता आए उनका स्तुति किए। वही भगवान कृष्णा जब वृंदावन में लीला कर रहे हैं तो प्रोपाद कृष्णा बुक्स में बताएं कि वो साधारण मनुष्य समझते थे तो इससे हम ये शिक्षा क्या करते हैं कि कोई महान भक्त अपने भक्तों को उसका मूड कभी भी चेंज करा सकते हैं ऐसा है क्योंकि देवराज इंद्र मनुष्य समझ रहे हैं वृंदावन में वही कृष्ण को फिर वो स्तुति करने के लिए आए हैं वृंदावन कारागृह में तो कैसा हम दोनों बात को कैसा यही जो शुद्ध भक्त है और जो प्राकृत भक्त है उनका फर्क यही है इंद्र है वो भी कुछ भक्त तो है बट इतना शुद्ध भक्त नहीं है मेटेरियलिस्टिक डिवोटी है तो मेटेरियलिस्टिक डिवोटी का मन वो सिचुएशन को देख कर के विचलित हो जाता है डेल्यूडर्ड जो आपने बोला इंद्र है जैसा भगवान कृष्ण है जो देव की माँ का पेट में था गर्भ में था उस समय पर सब इंद्र सब देवता लोग है स्तुति किया ओ माई डियर लॉर्ड वेरी नाइस या कम फ्लावर डाला ये डाला परिक्रमा किया सब कुछ किया है तो देख रहा है देखिए जो, जो जो देवता लोग हैं वो लोग बालकनी जैसा है उधर से हमेशा देख सकते हैं नीचे क्या हो रहा है करके तो वही लोग देखा है भगवान का जन्म हुआ है नारायण का चार भुजा था फिर दो भुजा हो गया उनको वसुदेव ने गोकुल लेके गया ये सब देखा है उधर उधर वह गोकुल में जाकर के ये सब लीला प्रकट कर रहे देखा है फिर भी सोच रहे अरे क्या यार क्योंकि भगवान लीला पुरुषोत्तम है उनका लीला करते समय पर रूल्स रेगुलेशन नहीं लगता है उनको आप नहीं बोल सकते ऐसा ऐसा करो वो बोलेगा मैं ये आदमी कहेगा वो बोल नहीं सकता ये आदमी क्यों कह रहा है अरे जाओ ना तो क्या मेरे को यही कहना है <laughs> तो भगवान लीला पुरुषोत्तम वन की जो लीला करता था वो शुद्ध भक्त नहीं था उन समझ नहीं पाता ये भगवान है करके तुरंत सोचता है क्यों ब्रह्मा इतना हो गया ब्रह्मा सोचते अरे क्या है यार ब्रह्मा है उनको पूरा ज्ञान भगवान ने दिया वो भी माइंड विचलित हो गया इंद्र है वो भी सोच इंद्र का क्या हो गया अरे मेरा भाग है मेरे को 
यज्ञ का भाग देना था बंद कर दिया टैक्स है मेरा टैक्स रुक गया सो इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट को भेजो उनको निकाल दो उनको प्रॉपर्टी नो अटैच कर दो करके वो समझा नहीं है ये भगवान है एक बार टैक्स नहीं दे तो कौन सा बड़ा चीज हो गया तुमको वो एक छोटा गांव है उधर से टैक्स नहीं आया पूरा दुनिया से आया क्या पर, क्या फर्क पड़ गया ईगो मेरा टैक्स को कैसा मना कर सकता है दिखाएगा तुम लोग का अरे भाई यही तो भगवान है ना वो इमीडिएटली वो सिचुएशन को देख करके माइंड गेट्स इल्यूशन जैसा नारद मुनि ने देखा भगवान ये सब कर रहा है उनका माइंड माइंड डिस्टर्ब नहीं हुआ है क्योंकि वो शुद्ध भक्त है उनको मालूम है भगवान का योग माया का काम है वो देवता लोग समझ नहीं सकता है देवता लोग समझ नहीं सकता है योग माया की वजह से ये कर रहे हैं करके वो तुरंत बोलते क्यों ऐसा कर रहे हैं मैं तो अच्छा कर रहा हूँ इनसे तो अपने आप को कंपेयर कर देते हैं तो यही फर्क है जो प्योर डिवोटी एंड मेटेरियलिस्टिक डिवोटी का मेटेरियल डिवोटी आप एक एक सिचुएशन को लेकर के माइंड बदल जाता है प्योर डिवोटी कोई भी सिचुएशन होगा भगवान का वो समझ सकता है वही इधर बोला गया है नारद मुनि ने इतना देखा है फिर भी वो डिस्टर्ब नहीं हुआ क्योंकि भगवान का कृपा था उनका ऊपर योग माया का शक्ति है वो शक्ति का थ्रू से उनको ये मालूम पड़ा ये भगवान है फिर भी भगवान ये कर रहे हैं बाकी लोग का सिखाने के लिए करके तो इसका मतलब क्या होता है हम हमारा शुद्ध भक्त को फॉलो करना चाहिए सो दैट वी विल नॉट गेट नो इल्यूशन बाई अलग अलग पास्ट टाइम से लीला है वो हम लोग डिस्टर्ब नहीं हो सकते नहीं तो बहुत लोग है ना कृष्ण का ऊपर इतना आरोप लगाएगा वो क्यों किया ये क्यों किया वो क्यों किया कितना वो लोग वो तो हजारों चीज है बोलने के लिए ये करना नहीं चाहता वो करना नहीं चाहता भक्त मालूम उनको मालूम है ये सब भगवान करना ही है वो करने के बाद भी भगवान करके हम समझेंगे भगवान को हम लेंगे भगवान को हम स्तुति करेंगे वो स्तुति करेगा तो यही फर्क है मेटेरिस्टिक एंड प्योर तो वी शुड बी वी आर हम लोग किधर है हम लोग बीच में <laughs> तो हम लोग बीच में है इसके लिए हमको गाइडेंस चाहिए हम गाइडेंस लेंगे भगवान का शुद्ध भक्त से और शुद्ध भक्त जैसा समझाए हम ऐसा समझेंगे करने से हमारा माइंड डिस्टर्ब नहीं होगा उनको दर्शन करने के बाद भी माइंड में ऐसा चिंता धारा होना वो तो दर्शन साक्षात कर रहे भगवान को भगवान तो साक्षात है हमारा दृष्टि ठीक नहीं है तो क्या करे हमारा दृष्टि होना चाहिए एक चश्मा का थ्रू से एक चश्मा लगता है भगवान को देखने के लिए स्वरूप में वो चश्मा है प्रेमांचन चुरी तो भक्ति विलोचन है ना हमारा चश्मा में चश्मा मेड ऑफ द लव ऑफ गॉड द मिरर ऑफ लव ऑफ गॉड द ऑप्टिकल है ना ये glass the glass is not material glass the glass is made of prema prema you have to go to optician who can give you a prema glass <laughs> prescription kya chahiye mere ko prema glass chahiye <laughs> optician bola mera paas nahi mera paas power glass hai ye super power hai wo jo bhagwan ko dekhne se bhi prema hamara aankh mein prema laga hua to हम भगवान को पूरा अच्छा से समझ सकते हैं ये प्रेम नहीं है वो भगवान सामने खड़ा होएगा तो भी वो भगवान करके हम डील नहीं कर सकता है ये दुर्योधना वो देखा नहीं भगवान को सामने सामने देखा है चैलेंज कर रहा है पूछे तुम मेरे पास काय नहीं क्यों उधर क्यों गया तुम कौन है पूछने के लिए काने का मेरा इच्छा है मेरे को कोई बोल सकता किधर काने का करके मेरे काने का मैं कहेगा भगवान है आके बोलते है भाई आधा तो दे दो ना नहीं देगा पांच प्रोविंस तो दे दो नहीं देगा पांच गांव दे दो पांच गांव का क्या मतलब है ये बॉम्बे में सौ गांव है जुगू गांव है वर्ली गांव है बांद्रा गांव ये सब पहला गांव था <laughs> और सौ गांव जुगू गांव कितना गांव है ये पूरा बॉम्बे बना के कितना गांव है इसमें पांच गांव देने के तो क्या होता है इट विल बी ओनली वन पार्लियामेंट्री कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी मुंबई नॉर्थ वेस्ट मुंबई नॉर्थ वेस्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी में वर्षा हुआ गांव है जुगू गांव है अंधेरी गांव है यही सब गांव पांच गांव देने से क्या हो गया भगवान के सामने बोलते नहीं देगा 
वो भगवान करके समझता तो बोल सकता है ऐसा उनका कुछ डिवोशन नहीं है भक्ति नहीं है इसके लिए देख नहीं पाता है चाहता तो भगवान है ना पांच गांव छोड़ दो पांच ब्रह्मांड दे सकता है उनका शरीर से कोटि कोटि ब्रह्मांड आते हैं उसमें से पांच पांच बबुल देने से क्या होता है भगवान इन लोग के लिए पांच ब्रह्मांड दे सकता था ये भारत वर्ष से बड़ा है फिर भी भगवान आके उनको बड़े अरे भाई थोड़ा पांच गांव देना क्योंकि इस मर्यादा क्योंकि वर्ल्ड दैट वी हैव एग्जॉस्टेड ऑल ऑप्शन नाउ महाभारत इज द ओनली वे उनको उस समय तक लेके आया वो नहीं दिया दंड नहीं दी मिलेगा तुमको चलो रिजल्ट महाभारत यस आई विल सी इन महाभारत तो दुर्योधन भी देखा है वो देखा नहीं है भगवान को वो काली देखा है भगवान को माया शक्ति को भगवान को अंतरंग शक्ति को देख नहीं पाएगा क्योंकि उनका आंक है ना यू गॉट आई डिसीज मेटीरियल डिजीज जैसा जॉन्डिस वालों को जो भी देखता है येल्लो येल्लो दिखता है इसको मेटीरियल जॉन्डिस है जो भी दिखता है मेटीरियल दिखता है भगवान को भी देखते हैं मेटीरियल दिखता है सो डिजीज कंडीशन देखने से कुछ मतलब नहीं है कौन सा नजर से हम देखते हैं वो अलग बात है यू हर टू सी विद द आई विद द लव ऑफ द गॉड देन यू कैन सी रियल कृष्णा अदरवाइज कृष्णा विल लुक लाइक ए स्टोन स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू डेटी डेटी को देखता है कोई बोलेगा आप लोग पत्थर को पूजा करें पत्थर को पूजा करते हैं भगवान को पूजा करते हैं तो इफ यूर आई कैन ओनली सी पत्थर यू कंसिडर इन पत्थर बट इफ यूर आई कैन सी कृष्णा दर यू डोंट सी पत्थर यू सी कृष्णा इज स्टैंडिंग एक्चुअली डिपेंड्स अपॉन यूअर विशन नथिंग इज रॉन्ग द लॉ तो अपना विशन को बढ़ाना है हमारा मेटीरियल विशन को स्पिरिचुअल करना है यही भक्ति मार्ग में हम लोग करते हैं हमारा विशन को कैसा रिफाइन करना है रिफाइन 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 सो दैट द ऑर्डिनरी ग्लास स्पेक्टेकल विल टर्न इन टू प्रेमा स्पेक्टेकल्स सो लुक फॉर प्रेमा स्पेक्टेकल देन विद दैट यू कैन सी कृष्णा एज ईज एज सिट इज एज ईज दैट इज द कंक्लूशन निमाय निताय प्रभु कृष्णा थैंक यू गुरु जी गुरु जी इन बिटवीन यू आर मैंशनिंग दैट हाउ द लीडर हैज टू हियर हाइडिंगली वॉट अदर आर स्पीकिंग एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पर्सन नीड्स टू बी वेरी इक्वी पॉइस्ड सो गुरु जी हाउ ही कैन गेट दिस इक्वी पॉइस्ड हाउ ही कैन बी बिकम इक्वी पॉइस्ड we should not be attached to our ideas that's all if you have thought something to be done if you really want to do it even if somebody gives a better idea you will not be able to take it i have decided already what to do then i am asking kya karna hai kya tum to decide hi kar diya ab kya karna hai sab bol diya to bol de theek hai main sabko sun liya hai mere ko jo karna hai main karta hu that is one you have thought about doing something and then you are asking and somebody gives you a better idea so your ego has to be properly situated that you can think that somebody else can also give you a better idea than me if your ego is very high you will think how can anybody give better idea than me because ah, it is not possible actually <laughs> i am i am such a person that my idea is all uh, you know super ideas other idea how it is that leadership quality will not last for long it will be short lived because obviously you'll get into trouble by making wrong decisions so once you are in trouble you lose so one has to be detached from one's own idea so that uh, you know you will be able to accept another idea detachment ego has to be put down grantara shrimad bhagavatam ki shila prabhupada ki tai gaurav premanande